despite COVID-19 testing capacities ramping up, people presumed positive don't know for certain. That's because kits are limited and CDC guidelines are strict for testing. Reporter Ashar Karashi spoke to a man considered an unofficial coronavirus patient who says he can't get a test. Unfortunately, about a week ago, I developed an upper uh, respiratory tract infection which introduced pneumonia to my systems. Michael Dolan, a healthy 39 year old who hadn't recently traveled from a hot spot, started feeling sick around March 17th. A fever of 103, along with severe symptoms associated with coronavirus, landed him in an outdoor triage tent filled with other patients. I was rejected for a test, but I was positive and symptomatic by my physician's diagnosis, which put me in this kind of limbo gray area where I've existed now uh, for the last three weeks. So you were presumed positive? presumed positive upon immediate inspection. But he can't get a test because he's not considered a priority. According to CDC guidelines, top priority for testing goes to hospitalized patients and symptomatic healthcare workers, then to symptomatic patients 65 years and older, those with underlying conditions, and first responders. So by CDC guidelines, I'm still not a data point. Testing remains spotty and inconsistent due to a patchwork of protocols from state and local decision makers. More than 17,000 tests are pending as both demand and the backlog of testing samples continues to grow. We were late to the eight ball on testing and that's caused challenges for us uh, now. Um, I think we could have gotten ahead of this a bit and had more data to make certain decisions and project. So far, health experts say official counts have failed to reflect the actual number of people infected or dying from the virus. And that sense of dread of not knowing what you are for sure, what's really happening inside of you, is frustrating and scary. It's something the WHO warned weeks ago was imperative. We have a simple message for all countries. Test, test, test. And according to government data, the U.S. still lags behind the UAE, Italy, Germany, South Korea, Canada, and Spain in COVID-19 testing per capita. Weeks after you are presumed positive, you still haven't been tested. No, I've been denied a COVID-19 test four times over the last 21 days. For now, Dolan, like countless others, remains in quarantine, likely infected but uncounted. And because nobody is tracking presumed positive cases, it's unclear how many people like Dolan are out there. That means the actual infection count remains unknown. Reporting from Chicago, I'm Usher Qureshi.